What up Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ and this highlight video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place to cater your team's next event. We've got a more League Boys water polo battle for you on Wednesday as Milliken hosts Long Beach Poly in a game that will give the winner the inside track to at least second place behind heavily favored Wilson. But this day is for the Rams and Jackrabbits to fight for. From the outset, it was clear Polly came here to play. Chase McPherson turns a steal into the first goal of the game very quickly. Polly goalkeeper Ethan Evans was also on point to the tune of 11 saves in this contest with the Matumbo finger to boot. Then at the other end, it's Lance Gabriel to Nick Cruz to give Polly a 3-2 lead after the first quarter. Milliken starts the second quarter with a buttery sniper from Danny Chenier, who finished with a hat trick. But at the other end, Cruz is going to give the Jackrabbits the lead again with his second goal. However, we are going to uh, halftime tied 4-4 after Josh and Jet scores off the deflection in the final minute of the second quarter. Packed house at the Milliken Natatorium enjoying this back and forth tilt. And after the break, it was Milliken's Max Miller who changed this game on both ends of the pool. He grabbed five steals in the second half, assisted on two goals, and scored one of his own in the third quarter that gave the Rams a 7-4 lead. However... Polly would also score three unanswered goals in the third quarter, two coming from Lance Gabriel, and were tied again 7-7, headed to the fourth. In the fourth, defense won the day. Milliken's goalkeeper Kai Goku finished with 12 saves, and this is what you don't want to see in a close game, a goal that's more of a mistake, and it gives Milliken an 8-7 lead with five minutes left in regulation. Of course, number four, Max Miller, <laughs> he's right there. But then with about 30 seconds left in regulation, off a rebound, it's an equalizer for the Jack Rabbits and Justin Greenwood. Right place, right time. We're going right to overtime. A pair of three-minute periods. But the Rams took hold of this thing in the first three minutes, led by, you guessed it, Mighty Max. Miller had two more steals in the first overtime period. That gave the Rams an extra possession, and they took advantage of it. And yeah, Danny does it again. Lefty from the left side is going to put Milliken up for good. Then about a minute later, it's Miller time. Max scores his hat trick and helps Milliken hold off Polly. He said after the game, man, I just wanted to be pumped up and get my team pumped up. He did exactly that. 11-8 is your final, so now Milliken and Wilson are tied atop the Morley standings with no losses. But one of them will get one next Wednesday when the Bruins host the Rams at the Belmont Outdoor Pool. Those fans are excited for it. So are we. You're going to find all that local sports coverage right here at the562.org.